Dia's good here, and welcome back to Layers of Fear. Except this time we're gonna play the DLC. So maybe well, I should have had chat pulled up ahead of time. Whoops. Yeah, like, I had no idea, like, I made sure to steer clear of anything about the main game, as well as the DLC, so I had no idea what we're about to get into. No fucking clue. While this is loading, I'm going to drink some tea. I have... <clears throat> green tea with lemon and honey. Hopefully to help my throat, I didn't realize I uh, sounded quite like this. <sighs> when I was a child, I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother, scream at Yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. Thanks! God, sickness, insanity, and death were the angels that surrounded my cradle, and they followed me throughout my life. Edward Munch. Oh my god. Well, that answers that question. The daughter did get taken away. Thank fuck. Thank fuck. Like, because I was almost halfway convinced he killed his kid. So, this is a relief. Okay, so flashlight on. Oh boy, we're back, guys. We know this house. We know this house. The fucking paintings, yup. Oh yeah, that's right, that's fucking... Whatever. Oh wait, hold on. Is that a key? Or is that... Oh no, it's a little brush, never mind. I thought it was a key. Oh, so now we're actually seeing the house for what it is, so did he kill himself then? After yeah, paint fucking everywhere. Are there any rats? I mean, I'm not seeing any yet. Okay, let's look in the trunk. Oh, come on. Gonna give me broken bottles. It's another uh, video of this, me opening every single fucking cabinet. Come on. Oh, great. A knife and a cup. 
couple of documents. Um, anything here? Oh. Hmm. I'll close this. That's broken. This is really interesting because I feel like, dare I say it, we're truly seeing the house for the first time. Oh, here we go. Here's something. My beloved, I've been thinking about what happened. I've been trying to understand. My dear, help me. I just don't understand. Why would you do it? Did you feel like there was no other way? Tell me, goddammit. What did I do to deserve this? I did my best. You know I did. I gave you everything. You selfish fucking whore. Why would you do this to us? Fuck. Hold on. Oh, he crossed out. He was about to write me and wrote us. I wonder if I... Hold on. See if I could read what he crossed out at the top there? I can't. They scr they scratched it out too well. Okay, so I think the painter wrote that. Um, so I checked out the wiki. I didn't go too, like, I didn't, like, look, like, super in-depth or anything like that, just because, um, I was actually trying to find, like, a non-spoiler, like, walkthrough, because I want to do, like, a separate, like, recording, so I'm gonna have to, like, edit it and stuff, um, of, like, newspaper documents, the letters, stuff like that, and just kind of, like, put together the story, and do kind of, like, a story analysis, because I really liked the story in this. Um, I thought it was very good, but it was, you know, pieced together in such a way that if you don't find everything, you don't get the whole picture, which I get. Um, which definitely makes for good replay value. Um, Ugh. Ugh, it reeks in here. Jesus Christ, you scared me. <laughs> I forgot we're at, we're playing a character who's actually talking. Um. Okay. Um. But yeah, I was gonna do that. Uh. At some point. Oh. Which, by the way. Whoa. I swear, that dog doesn't shut up! Oh yeah, that's him. Whoa, what prompted this? What? Quit looking at me like that. That dog is there for a reason. Oh, all right. You can let him out. For now. And I somehow managed to get all the way over here. So they lock the p puppy up, or the dog up, in the fucking pantry. It's not exactly a, uh... I mean, come on, man. You could've just bought a crate. Why was that flashing just then? Flashlight, don't fail me now. Sorry, kiddo. Your dad killed your dog. Okay, so there's really... Okay, I pick that up. No. There's really kind of nothing in here, which is fine. This music's making me a little uneasy. Oh, this was all boarded up before last time we were in here. I remember this. Got here. What is this? 
angry dad, crying kid. Oh yeah, going to either put, is it going to cook the dog? Like what? This is interesting because the last like, because in the main game it's like he was terrified of his wife, terrified of his wife. Um, I mean, I was terrified of his wife. I felt bad for her, but she fucking scared the shit out of me. Um, two one nine, twenty one kilograms, two one nine. Oh my god, I, I'm not stupid. I swear, <laughs> like two one nine. God. Don't mind me, everyone. So, can I do anything with this? No? Okay, whatever. <sighs> I've not been sleeping well. So, forgive me. Wait, is that the... Oh, for a second I was like, is that the wheelchair? I was like, f freaking out. Um, okay. This is all broken. God, this is so fucking weird. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. The fucking eyes. So would she... Holy shit. Ugh, this place is a mess. I can hear you in there. I'm coming, you furry little bastards. You're not getting away this time. What the hell are you doing in there? Get out! Did you guys hear a door close? Cause I thought I heard a door close. Oh, let me be jump. I'm getting on edge now. I not gonna lie, this is like a little triggering. Okay, good. So you didn't okay, so I'm not crazy. This is a little triggering for me, um, not to get too in-depth, but, uh, my dad would yell a lot when I was a kid, and it was pretty traumatizing. Um, so, this is kind of bringing back some, uh, memories. Uh, the basement. Let's just get this over with. I hate basements. <gasps> oh my god! I know, girl. I'm scared too. I don't know your name, but I'm just gonna call you PD for Painter's Daughter. Because I don't know what else to call you. I don't know your name. And I'm sorry your dad forgot your fifth birthday party. That's pretty shitty of him. He's an asshole. Oh dear lord. <sighs> oh no. No, that's not how it went. Maybe... No, that's not right. You let your wife play it, dude. Oh, god damn it. Why can't I remember? I told you never to come down here! I heard a door close again!
she keeps like during these flashbacks she keeps like moving and I'm like legitimately getting turned around like this is okay hold on yeah like she's too scared to venture any further Oh, the mom is bad too. Okay, she's trying to play and the mom is mad. Bad probably because she couldn't play. So do we have the mom to contend with too? I would hope not. I mean, come on, mommy. You're our mom. We love you. Okay, that's just me. Okay, thank God. I heard footsteps. I was like, uh... Okay, let's get out of here. I don't think... Wait. Yeah, that's just a fucking crate. Yeah, let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything... I can't run or anything. I can just walk. Okay. So let's check out upstairs. I'm assuming this is gonna really kickstart everything, the studio, so, plus that's like his space, so I'd rather just leave that alone. Oh fuck, it's a you! I hate this freaking painting, it's so creepy, I don't like it. Hello! Go for 2 d to in. Ugh, what's wrong with this thing? There's a monster nearby. I played enough horror video games. I don't know what that means. It's like a ghost or something. Oh shit. That dog better not be where I think it is. Huh? Doggy. Get the hell off! I told you not to spoil that fucking muck! Sound of the closing door. Oh, puppy. We just he just wanted to take a nap. Someplace comfortable. This game is pretty neat. Happy you're playing it, not me. Can handle how scary it is. <laughs> Honestly, I enjoyed Layers of Fear more than Amnesia the Dark Descent hot take. I know some people would definitely disagree with that, but... Okay. This was... Oh. This is really, this is truly interesting, because... This room looks way different. Yelling at the mom. She's hiding in the closet, scared. God, what a fucked up home life, man. I guess she's getting cl I don't remember that being there. I can hear you out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Uh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Mommy. Why won't you help me? Oh, you're just like your father. You don't care about me. You probably wish I was dead. No! <gasps> Stop closing doors and fucking with my head. God damn. Well, that's sad. We don't wish you were dead. We love you. Makes me sad. Can't tell if this game makes me more scared or just sad. The story is sad. Yes, the story is very sad. Like, I, I just want to hug everyone except for the dad because he was an alcoholic piece of shit. Oh, we gotta listen to our song. Please tell me it's gonna be it. Come on. Can I... Can I turn it on? 
Well, there's no record on it. Aw, I thought we were gonna get to listen to our favorite tune. Stumble all around, stumble all around. Or whatever. Whatever it goes. I had way too much fun with that puzzle. <laughs> okay, so that was a mom's room. Which was... Oh my god. Can you shut the door, please? You also have inherited your father's shitty penchant for opening things. Ooh. Okay. Can we go in here? Oh no, we can't. This is daddy's study. We can't go in there. No kids allowed. Okay, so with each flashback, there's usually a picture. So, okay, this one must be of the doggy. Oh no, a rat! Rat. Lies, 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 lies. Bro. This place is fucking shitty as hell. And I'm not seeing any rats so far. So I'm starting to think that was all in your fucking head. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Okay, so that was that. Don't like that. Let's hope this doesn't fall. Oh boy. I'm so little here. Okay, guys, so it looks like we have a choice. Mommy? Or Daddy? I'm... kind of tempted to go with the mom, but that's because I love my mom, and my mom has since passed, so... Anything, like, having to do with moms, I'm, like, all about, so. And I am a mom, you know, so there's that, too. Mom! Mommy! Mommy, I love you. Love you, and I just want you to feel better. Oh, she's so little! Like, I didn't know we were gonna play as, like, a little kid. I wonder, is this how my three-year-old feels? Walking around. Hey there. Oh, come on, don't be afraid. It won't bite. Here, try for yourself. That's not quite right. Huh, still not quite there. Okay, sorry. Whoever's pounding on that piano, quit it! We were just playing. What's that? Idea. Go get your crayons. Where are my crayons? Okay, so my crayons have got to be in here. Here, baby. Which papers that aren't important? 
to me because I'm a child. I got them. So, all right, so rainbow. <laughs> oh, here we go. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, so square if you can't do it right then don't do it at all oh. well, let me grab a piece of paper I wanted to do it right <laughs> um I hope that wasn't like a thing where Okay. Wait, seriously? Well, I guess we're leaving then. Now we'll fuck you too. I wanted to try to play it! God, why? Ugh. This game is once again trying to kill me by making me choke. <sighs> Man, I'm really disappointed. I love music puzzles too. And I didn't even mean to hit the wrong keys, I thought I was hitting the right ones. Can I stand up? This looks kind of cool. Anything? Okay, if this 
this is I think like the main game I'm probably gonna have to do a story of recording too of this. I wonder if I'm curious. Killed you, jeez. Whoa. X. Man, now I kind of wish my keyboard worked so I could try to play the song myself at home. But it's broken. Okay. Can't I be an adult? Ah, she's so short, it's hard to... is it now? Is it time to paint or is it time to cry? Oh, there's a door. I don't even notice this here. warning this is oh we're doing this again Say, bent 
mental. Run in your family. The voices. Ow! This again? How many times do I have to tell you to keep this shit out of the hallway? <laughs> oh, that's right, cry! Seems like everyone's solution to everything in this house. That first part made me laugh a little bit. Cause, dude, get over it. You have a kid. When you have a kid, you have to be resigned to the fact that you're gonna step on things. I've stepped on many a toy and it sucks. But you know what? What doesn't kill you only makes your feet stronger. So, that's what I say. Okay, um, yeah, so dad is still an asshole. He keeps trying to do, but he's done it like a million fucking times.
it. I'm getting like a flash of... That's gotta be a glitch. Um, okay. So let's keep exploring upstairs. Motherfucker, seriously? Guess I shouldn't have gone up the stairs then. Hello, bears. <laughs> explore the whole house before any of this shit started happening.
yeah, I can. Okay, here we go. Let's pick up the pace a little bit, kiddo. Did it burn? Do I have to like catch it? Is that what this is? Like I have to catch the paper? Well that's stupid. Okay. So I want to come in that direction I think. Let's try it. it again. I have to be like right here I think. Is that what I have to do? I don't know. Fuck. What do you have to stand right here? No, this seems like this is too shit. I don't this is stupid. I don't like this. If I get stuck here, I apologize. It's hard to see where it lands, like... So right here. Okay, so we want to come from that direction. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh, I'm picking up when you're laying down, game. Oh. 
I'm assuming that's what I have to do. Because I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I'm so close to just rage quitting right now, like, this is fucking dumb, like, why? I'm sorry, like, I shouldn't have to be fucking, like, it just keeps landing on the fucking fire and I have no way of stopping it, like, it's, uh, I cannot be the only person that had trouble with this, uh... Yeah, it won't even let me pick it up. So how can we... Is there something we can do? To prevent it from... Like... Falling? Harder, and I wasn't so fucking dumb. Yeah, that's what your mommy looks like. She's lucky to be alive. But her being so young, like. I feel like that wouldn't phase her, you know? Like she'd be like, yeah, that's like, just like, like that's what my mom looks like, it wouldn't be. Oh, her and the doggy. And I never did say that dog it was, but now I know it's a pincher. Best friends. Any other photos we can pick up? No?
Oh, Princess, don't sneak up on me like that. Especially when I'm working. So, what do you think? Oh, you like it? Well, that makes one of us. Wow, asshole. That's, she doesn't even look that bad. Like, I don't... Grateful piece of shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really don't like him. Like, like, dude, your wife could be dead, and she's not. So maybe you should count yourself lucky that you're not a widower. Widower. But whatever. I can go on about this asshole. What's in here? Locked. Ooh. Um. There's a locked thing, and if there's a key somewhere, and we're little, so it's gotta be someplace we can reach. Did I miss a key in my wanderings? It's entirely possible. She drew cute deer, and then he drew that over it. Thanks, Dad. Thanks. Okay. God, he makes me so angry. I know, I... Um... This portrait isn't even there anymore. I'm just gonna keep going the mom route until it forces me to go. I know they're tr do trying to make the doll all creepy and shit, but I'm having a hard time being afraid of it because it's like one of her toys. Like, a glimpse into the future. Revolutionary projection method takes audience by storm. Things were off to a slow and fairly uninspiring start last night at the world renowned Sharon Odeon. As the lights dimmed and the murmurs died down, took the stage. The ingenious engineer, businessman, and philanthropist went on and on about the vision for the future. 
that were his vision for the future, a world where artificial images could be created out of thin air and appear just as real as any physical object or person. Despite his undeniable passion, the speech went on a bit long and the audience started to wonder if the man actually had anything to show for it. Little did we know, the whole thing was in fact a brilliant versionary tactic. Seemingly bored at the sound of his own voice, I invited his friend to take her blank invited his friend to take the stage, hoping that he would do a better job at explaining just how revolutionary their new technology was. The entire crowd gasped in disbelief as an exact duplicate of the speaker took to the stage and proceeded to address the audience. And then came another and another. In a matter of minutes, the entire stage was filled with what seemed like identical twins of the inventor. The crowd erupted into a standing ovation as the man himself appeared at the back of the room. As he was making his way to the stage, his doppelganger uh, gradually dissolved into thin air. Redacted proceeded to take questions from the audience. Although the response was overwhelmingly positive, there were a few skeptics to be found. When asked about the potential hazards of the technology, its creator seemed unfazed and quipped jokingly that people were once terrified of automobiles. All joking aside, the spectacle did prove a bit much for some audience members. Several instances of fainting have been reported, and one elderly gentleman had to be escorted out of the building by paramedics. For better or worse, the technology is bound to generate controversy. On the one hand, its potential applications are seemingly limitless, from, in from engineering, through education and medicine, to visual art. On the other, one needs to pose the inevitable and unnerving question. If there comes a time when we aren't able to distinguish between reality and fiction, just how will that affect us as a society? Which I think that those last, that last sentence is the point. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to you. Sorry. <laughs> know that the happy birthday song was copyrighted once? <laughs> You're blocking my way with apples! Thank <laughs> you. 
is a pretty dangerous uh, path that you're leading me on to, Dolly. said there was gonna be a party. I just started a bit early. Whoops. So you got drunk. Thanks, Dad. Not now, Princess. Go play with your downies or your crayons. Daddy's very busy. I should want to show him the cake she made. I try to always, if I'm not like cooking or something, and my son wants something, I always try to stop whatever it is I'm doing and go to see what it is, even if it's something as trivial as the way he lined up his shape blocks and stuff. Uh...
there's a key. I'm trying to think, where would the key be? If I were a key, where would I be hiding? I don't know where the key is, so we're just gonna have to keep pushing forward. makes it all better, doesn't it? It'll just magically unbreak because you didn't mean to. Go on, get out of here. Go to your room and break shit in there. Just take all your toys and smash them one by one. And keep at it. Maybe you'll finally get good at something. What a fucking asshole. Like... Fucking asshole. For a second, because it showed the doll being chased by the dog, I thought, oh, maybe that's why he killed the dog. It was because the dog, like, attacked her. But then he says something like that, and. Is that the only door we can go into? so small.
just sad for this poor kid, like... didn't work. That's just my voice. I talk very quietly. So you have to listen. There's plenty of other people you can listen to that are gonna scream and yell all the fucking time. Oh, whoops, shit. Maybe there's something, oh, whoop. Maybe there's something here we could use. Sure, that's really depressing. Mm, then all there is is a candle up there. Hold on, let me look again. Okay, is there anything else? So we tried the jar. That didn't work. There's something over here we could reach. Like maybe the clock. Yeah, let's 
shot clock. in there for hours, days. You, you come out looking like shit, stinking of booze and stale piss. Something got into mommy's eye, that's all. You be a good little girl and go to sleep. Daddy's working, so we can't disturb him. Mommy has to go downstairs and take a bath. I love you. Oh, my heart! Oh, my God! More than a wife, she was first and foremost his muse. Her beauty and talent drove him. After the accident, she became a burden. A disgusting monster screeching out from her bed. 
an anchor weighing him down. My heart! Because she killed herself in the bathtub! Oh! Oh, God, that makes me want to tear up a little bit. Sad, dude. Last will and testament. I redacted, grasping at the remains of my sanity, declare this to be my last will and testament. I hereby deem all my previous wills just as worthless as the shallow husks calling themselves my friends and associates. To my agent, Thomas Caldwell, I bestow the hellish vermin that infest my home, praying that they will gnaw away at him endlessly, bleeding him dry, just like he did to me. To my publisher, Liam Brickstone, I bequeath the flames that consume the love of my life in hope that they will devour him, along with the wretched whore and the squealing bastard he calls his family. Wow! It's pretty extreme there, dude. To my lawyer, James Jerome Sadler, I pass on whatever illness has rotted my mind and soul away so that he can feel just as empty and useless as he was to me. To any other parasites that come crawling out of the woodwork, I leave nothing. To hell with all of you. Finally, to my beloved daughter, I leave all my earthly possessions for what they're worth. I hope they will inspire you to realize your true potential. The final, most precious gift, however, is not mine to give. You will have to discover that on your own. I believe in you, as I always have. I don't know, you kind of made it really clear in your statement that we're not good at anything, that you don't believe in us, so I'm not going to put much uh, faith in your words, sir. Open. Open. Oh, the, is it the chair? The chair's blocking it. Shit. Okay. Wait, is this baby face? It's baby face! Hi, baby face. We missed you. You and your furry little baby chins. Ah, <sighs> okay. Um. I think this is a good place to stop. I've been playing for a while now, so. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good night. Um, I am going to actually be moving into a new place, so um, I'm going to try to keep up with my schedule that I've got going on. Um, so I probably will still be able to stream uh, throughout this week and next, but after that there may be a lull, um, so what I'm gonna do if there is a lull, because with the pandemic I don't know how long it will take for my internet service to get switched over, um, I was gonna record maybe like some, you know, indie games I have, um, and upload those on YouTube whenever I get internet back, or I could even, um, Bring my laptop to work or something and do it there just because I love you guys and I would do that for you so all right you can um yeah thank you once again for watching I'm kind of bummed I didn't find those keys a couple of those areas some of them were really hard to find um got lucky with that face uh yeah uh go ahead and uh yeah, next time feel free to join in the chat Give me a follow, subscribe, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, if you like the video, give it a like, comment, subscribe over there, and uh, you can also support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash insanityisgood, as always. Alright, you guys have a good night, and I'll see you uh, Wednesday with more Outlast. Bye! Sleep well.